The seven star terror event for Del Fox is back for its second phase in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details as well as the best Pokemon to go into this raid with to solo in your games. So for those of you that missed the Del Fox raid in its first run out in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it has returned now so you do get the opportunity to go in and catch this Pokemon. Remember it is one catch per save file but for the rest of you the event is back so you can go in and farm for those high cost items which these 7 star terror raids are renowned for. The event itself as of recording this video is running from July the 14th until the 16th so over this coming weekend and it will stay in your game until the next Next time you do go online this is going to be a fairy terror typing level 100 the move set it's going to have is fire blast psychic dazzling gleam will o -Wisp, with additional moves dazzling gleam magic room and nasty plot has got the mightiest mark it is set to level 100 as always and it will have its hidden ability magician but it doesn't have any effect in terror raid so you don't need to worry about it stealing your held item like we thought in our preview articles now the item drops are going to be brilliant for this as per usual usual large candies xl candies you're gonna get tms lots of fairy terror shards as well ability patch is a chance as well as ability capsule ball caps pp ups and an array of high cost items so like i say the final phase for del fox will be running this coming weekend do take the opportunity to grab this while you can so you've got that del fox with the mightiest mark which may or may not play a part in the dlcs somewhere down the line once they drop but getting into game these are the builds that we are going to feature today now a couple of them have been featured already on the channel now the arcus i won't go into too much detail about this one not everyone has an arcus i understand that but if you do this is probably one of the most consistent and quickest methods to go in and beat the seven star terror del fox with it has got a steel terror typing it has got the expert belt as its held item level 100 and it will have the ev spread of 252 hp 252 special defense with a modest nature in that four remaining avs in that special attack and then a move set of recover acid spray calm mind and steel beam like i say we've already covered this specific build on the channel if you want to check the build out how it operates in battle how you set it up and have an effectively one hit KO even when the shield's up on the Del Fox with this Arceus then go and check out the video now it will be linked in the top right hand corner for you but a very consistent method if you do have access to Arceus in your game a new one for today's video is going to be the Armor Rouge now we did feature Armor Rouge originally and it was a psychic terror typing but this one is going to be a steel terror typing this one is really really fast at running through this Del Fox raid and again another consistent way for you to farm these higher cost items you have got the shell bell item on it obviously the steel terror typing like we've just mentioned level 100 once again ev spread of 252 special attack 252 special defense with that four remaining in hp with a modest nature we've got that flash fire ability on there that is very important with the move set clear smog acid spray calm mind and flash cannon so the basic premise of this move set is going to be getting six calm minds up off the bat so the first six turns spend them going for calm minds that's going to boost your special attack and special defense by one stage every time you do it so you want to get up to plus six in both of those stats then you can go for the acid sprays go for three of those it's more than likely going to negate the stat drops on its side of the field and it's probably going to steal some of your terror power as well so you're more than likely going to have to go for four acid sprays in total but after that point you're going to be able to terastalize and then just go for those flash cannons if you want because it probably will after it breaks the shield remove the stat boosts on your side of the field just go for three more acid sprays if you need to if it hasn't removed those uh, you can go for a clear smog as well if you need to if it has nasty plot a couple of times but you're probably not going to need to go for the calm mines after that just to remove it from the field with the remaining hp that it does have left with the flash cannon but like i say armor rouge in this specific build a very strong consistent option if you have got access to it in your games and like always all of the builds that we feature in today's video will be featured in the description below the next one is going to be serilege the brethren of armor rouge again another steel terror typing on here ghost and fire typing shell belt the item of choice so we've got a line of recovery although not massively necessary it does help out through the battle level 100 with a move set of sword stance leer iron head and bitter blade 
flash fire the ability and we have a ev spread of 252 hp 252 attack with an adamant nature and the remaining evs put in special defense you could change the ev spread if you want to be a bit more optimal and go for 252 in special defense and then 252 in attack but this works just fine and this was another one that we featured on the channel when the raid originally dropped so you can check that out as well again i'll link that video in the description and up in the top right hand corner for you as well and finally the final build of today's video is going to be sloking now glarian sloking is something that you might not have access to in your games from sword and shield but if you do a very very good option and a fun one to go in with to this raid so we've got the psychic terror typing on here shell bell is the item of choice for a line of recovery of course and then a ev spread of 252 special attack 252 special defense the remaining four in hp with a modest nature we have the curious medicine as the ability which is kind of handy if you do get knocked out and you come back onto the field it will remove stat drops or stat boosts onto the Del Fox, but really it doesn't really matter what ability you have on the Slow King. You're not really going to be getting knocked out unless you get very unlucky with a critical hit or something like that. The move said that we've got is Acid Spray, Nasty Plot, Amnesia, and then Stored Power. And we will go into the raid now and I'll show you exactly how effective this Slow King can be in this raid. As always, that turn zero, you're going to see the Del Fox go for that Dazzling Gleam, which is not going to do too much damage, to be honest, because of that part poison typing that you've got on the glarian sloking be able to kind of soak that up pretty well and delphox going to primarily go for fire blasts more than anything else in this match so you should be all right it's a very low accurate move but you want to start off the battle by just going for an amnesia and get three of those off consecutively so you put your special defensive stat up to plus six it is going to boost your special defense by two stages every time you use it you can see the del fox coming out off the bat with that will-o-wisp if that misses that helps you out a lot and of course if you do have an orb olivia on your or your side of the field as well that definitely helps with a little bit of recovery throughout this battle because there are going to be a few times throughout this setup where you might have to consider going for a heal chair but that's not not really an issue at all it doesn't slow you down or prevent you doing anything going forward with the amount of damage you can do with the slow king once you are set up and there's a third amnesia as we get lucky with a fire blast miss there from the delphox so like because it is low accuracy as well these moves that the delphox is using it's nice sometimes when you do see the rng kind of fall in your favor and it just helps you set up a little bit easier where you're not having to rely on the heal shears so much so once you've got the three amnesias up you want to go for those three nasty plots and boost your special attack it boosts it by two stages every time you use it so use it three times get yourself up to plus six special attack we're going for our last nasty plot now we're in a healthy position with our hp so we should be able to start firing off these acid sprays we probably want to go for a heal cheer this next turn just to kind of make sure that we've got the health to kind of get this set up where we want it to be going into this next couple of turns you can terrestrialize now but if we go for a heal cheer quickly this turn and then the next turn we're going to use a final cheer and go for an all out attack cheer that gives us a nice bit of health back so that's going to allow us to kind of get this setup done because you need that tiny little bit of additional boost to your stats where you're going to be able to kind of just pick up the one shot from this range with the slow king now you don't necessarily need to go for it here like you can go here all out attack here but i'll show you without it i would go for the all out attack normally but you can just terrestrialize if you're feeling confident at the point that the del fox has taken enough damage but you'd be surprised by the amount of damage that this sword power is going to do once you have terrestrialized uh, you're going pure psychic type you are plus six special attack special defense and the Del Fox is minus six special defense. So with this terror boosted stored power on top, you're gonna to be doing some really good damage. You can see how well you take those fire blasts. It is nasty plotted, and we hopefully are able to pick up the one shot here. Yeah, we can get it. So we don't need the attack chair. Don't always need it. If the Del Fox is a little bit healthier than it was at this point, then sometimes you just need that attack chair just to push you over the edge so you can pick up the knockout because like i say as soon as that shield is broke it nullifies all of your stats your stored power is not going to be doing as much damage but you still should be doing enough to the del fox just whether or not you want to guarantee 
that one hit KO on it uh, after the setup or not. So there's all the nice item drops that you've got. But Galarian Slocking, a really nice option along with the Arceus. I feel like they're both pretty good uh, in terms of setup. The only advantage Arceus has is it does have recover, so you don't really need to rely on the heal cheer so much. And again, if you're coming into this and you want to farm these uh, raids for the high item cost, then just come onto your map. You're going to be able to respawn the den because you only get one at a time. What you need to do is hit your home menu, then come down to your system settings, then down into system, then down into date and time. Make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off, then come down into date and time itself. Don't change anything in here, just toggle through with your A, hit OK, then hit your home menu, come back into the game and you'll see all the dens will respawn and you'll see that the seven star terror raid will appear again on your map, ready for you to go in and beat it once again. So you can farm those high cost items super easy. So they are the builds that we're featuring in today's video and everything that I wanted to cover in this second phase for Del Fox when it is returning to the games. I hope you found today's video useful. Drop a like if you have and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite build is to go in and farm these Delphox raids and what you think the next seven star terror raid that will be announced this weekend will be i've got a feeling it will be Rillaboom announced but we might even see a seven star mewtwo terror raid because it is the anniversary coming up this weekend so we'll have to wait and see thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and we'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye